So finally, I arrived to the point to talk about the Bipe template, that is the one that we will use on this uh, tutorial. So to access to the Bipe template, we go again to our shifter menu, and under the guide template samples, we have to the Bipe template and the quadruped template. So we, I'm just going to import this Bipe template. It's going to take a few seconds. It's loading all the the components, and here is it. So this is the default one that comes with um, with same gear or with shifter, but we're gonna tweak it a little bit just in order to to make uh, this tutorial a, a bit more um, interesting. So the first thing I'm, I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna delete this part, this right uh, parts of the character. You can work on the right side if you prefer. It's a, pers a personal thing. Just gonna delete also this one. And the first thing I want to do is go to one of the um, locators or root of the arm and edit the settings. So I'm just going to edit the settings here. And this is good. So we can see here the connector. It's shoulder one. Before we were talking that the connector by default is a standard, but in this case is um, this parent here that it's, uh, it's shoulder one. So it's, it's going to set the connector to shoulder one. And I want to comment here that if we create another arm and we make it child of this shoulder you can see here that it will set automatically the connector because when we create it at the time of creation the parent is shoulder so that's important it, it does it automatically but what happens if I parent directly to another part like spine now the connector is standard because it doesn't have a special connector for the spine. And let's say, oh, I I, I did a mistake. I, I want to repair this to the to the shoulder. Okay, cool, you can do it, but because it's already created, it will not scan automatically this for you because you don't know if you want the standard as a choice or as a default configuration. He doesn't know that. So it doesn't change it for you after creation. So at creation, it knows where you want to put the things, but after creation, it don't know. You cannot understand if you, this is just a mistake that you happen to, to do, or it's just a choice. So you need to change later by default. And there is not that many connectors. So basically we have one on the foot as we commented before, we have one for the arm and, and that's it I, for the legs. There is no connectors, and I think as far as I remember, maybe there is something else, but um, that's not that many. Okay, so we have this, just deleting this, closing, and just gonna reset my translation here, so it goes back to the original position. Okay, I'm just gonna open the settings again here. One thing is, we can open the settings from any um, part of the component selected but as soon as we open the settings it, it changed the selection to the to the root that's uh, also by design it's what it does okay so we have the arm leg I host everything is clear here but let's move here at this part so by default it's IK so when I build this and again I can build only my my component if I select my component um, and this is um, gonna build only this part so we can check our configuration part by part so we don't need to build everything to to see how we are configuring this that's important so now we have here this default is fk sorry for that this is like should be fk here and i get there um the, the naming i mean the the label here it's it's flip it sorry for that but yeah, it's not so difficult to remember. Um, Max stretch to to um, sections. Mm, let's put a little more sections here. So I'm just gonna put division. So this represents the upper arm and the lower arm or arm and forearm. I'm just gonna put one more, one more. So I'm just gonna delete again. So important. Uh, you cannot undo this um, because I I flush every time the undo queue. And the reason because I do that is because um, Maya, with, um, with especially with PyMail that it's it's been used on on MGear, uh, it has some like 
uh, issues with the undo queue and it may crash if you undo some complex executions on using PyML. So to avoid that, it's just flash. So in order to delete the guy, just select, um, sorry, the rig, just select the rig and delete it instead of doing undo. Okay, so now we have this and just build again. Oh, I'm building all the rig, by the way. So just did a little mistake here. I didn't want to select everything, but yeah, it's good. No worries. So we have here now more uh, sections. That is the thing I want. And I want to point you to something here. We have these three joints close to the elbow. And by default, it's the same for the, for the leg that it will help us to uh, support the deformation. So that's good. But it's also good to know that if we do it like that, and just let me show you all the transformations here for the joints. Just gonna show the local transforms. The way that it's interpolating this, and just gonna isolate that so it's easier. So you can see the axis that this is aligned with the upper part of the arm, the lower arm. And this one in the middle, it's 50-50. It's, it's, it's creating a 50-50 interpolation. So this is meant to help you with the deformation. So this is going to give you better deformation. But if you want to export to games and you want to, to connect your game uh, character to some kind of uh, blueprint or something in Unity or Re on Real that um, will generate some uh, animation uh, like real time or on interaction with the with the character maybe this is not the best configuration because the 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 um, maybe the game engine it wants to the elbow that rotates fully with the forearm so how we solve this here how, how we we solve the disparity between this and the uh, and what we may find on on the game engine uh, engine sorry game engine so um we can just remove the support elbow joints this will give you an elbow joint in the middle not these two on the side not this and this that rotates fully with the forearm obviously it has a penalty on the deformation part because you you need to um, i mean you need to to work a little harder to get this nice deformation on the elbow but in exchange you get um this uh, like more uh, game friendly structure. So I'm just gonna do that for the ex uh, this exercise. I'm just gonna well, select this and remove the support elbow joints. And here on the on the leg, just gonna open the settings again. And we have the same for the the knee. So I'm just gonna remove these support joints for the knee. Okay, so we have this leader configuration here. And let's start playing a little bit more with the configuration on the arm. So we have three sections. We just remove the elbow joint. Add extra tweaks. So this extra tweaks, what it's going to do is for each um, joint, it's going to add an extra control there. So we can create a more precise deformation with that. So uh, again, I'm just going to build this one. And now it doesn't change anything, but if we go here, and we change to, sorry, not the FK, but tweak visibility. This is the ones that we create. We have these ones that it's one fair for each uh, joint. And you can see here, by the way, that we don't have the support thing anymore. We have only one here in the middle. Okay, so I want to keep this one. I want to, to have like in the IK control, like a mirror uh, behavior axis. Um, mirror control a vector axis I get separated translation and rotation that's by default so um, just gonna again uh, well just build it here and now if I change to my IK we have two controls one that controls the um, the position of the IK and this one that controls the rotation. Maybe it's not very clear like that. Sorry. So I'm just going to build the full rig so you can see with the hand. 
and you will see that the hand is automatically rotating. That's something that, it depends on the project, it depends on the animator or your personal taste, you may want it or not. So this option here, now the UI host is here, now you can see, so my hand is rotated with this one. There is an option that you can set here the IK rotation instead of auto to IK control, so it will match both rotations by default. You can see here, and this now have some rotation that acts as an offset. So this is how it works. And I was thinking to remove it, but I'm just gonna keep it. I think it's it's a nice feature to have, and you have also the option to go back. Okay, so we have this configuration done. Support elbows and the spaces. I'm just gonna keep it. Okay, let's keep configuring this a little bit. So I'm just gonna go now to the root of the guide and open the settings. This is my general settings. So the first thing is. I don't want to keep uh, to have the internal proxies. I I just say that it's not like uh, it's not working. But if you may use animation layers in 2018 or previous Maya, it's gonna it's gonna break that. If you have 2018, you can keep it because uh, it's more um, stable. Well, it doesn't it doesn't have the bug anymore, so it's fixed. So I'm just gonna change that, and I'm just gonna add my control visibility and my visibility options here for my uh, synoptic, my picker for later and because I know I want to export to games later so I'm just gonna force the scaling all to uh, C axis so we have uniform scale in all uh, the joints I don't want the classic ones so it's gonna be share if we share the UI host and that's it that's my template so this is what I want to do for the rest of the uh, class for the moment maybe I change something later we can we don't need to, to change everything at the beginning but for the moment it, this is the configuration I want to use so now that I have my template and it's ready to start where I store it I can save it like as a Maya file but also it can export it like same way that we imported the guide template from here we can export our guide templates so in order to do that, just sel select the, the guide, the root, and go shifter and export guide template. It's going to open the save as menu here. Oh, it's taking a little bit. Okay, so we have it there. And this is my guide placement, fast skinning. Um, probably it's not going to be the final name for this tutorial, by the way. Okay, so I'm just gonna here in the database and I'm just gonna save like this guide templates folder and this is gonna be my biped and save. Cool, so we have exported our template, so next time we just need to go to our um, import menu. And again, it's taking so long to open this. And uh, go to my biped template. I'm just going to create a shortcut here. And I have my biped template here. This biped template can be imported, open it like this. Or we can use also the template section on the guide manager. So we can open it from here. And it's gonna load it here so we can explore our template. So we have the component list and we have all the information accessible from here. And this can be added. We can just double click on any value and change it. But be careful with that. I don't recommend to, to do it if you don't I mean if you don't fully understand what is going on here. But in some situations you may want to edit something before import or build. The guy. So you can import the guy here and build from here, or you can import it here and build from here from this configuration, or you can uh, save that as a variant. So I change this or change another value and save it as a variant. This is possible, but be careful with that. This is a very raw um, edition, so and can be dangerous if you put something that it's not the correct value and it's very like it doesn't have any filter. You can go here on the arm. 
for instance, on the parameter values. And you can see here, for instance, the... Um, um, sorry, this is the ARM UI. Sorry, I want the ARM parameter values. And here we have the divisions that we said. So we can go here and change the divisions. See, like this. And now I can build this. Or I can just uh, import this part. So file, import partial. So i just going to... I'm going to import this as a, just this part, but first you need something to import. So I'm just going to create a simple control there. And now that I have the control, select the control and from the arm. I'm sorry. Not from the control dictionary, but the list. Sorry, here's the list. Arm. And import partial. So now it's importing this and this one that is imported, if we check the settings, you see it has the division 8, 8 that I just set here. But yes, be careful with this. I don't want to, to go too deep in this. The video is getting also a bit longer now. But yeah, this is the way that we export the guides and our templates and we import it again to keep working on that. Okay, so let's continue in the next video by adjusting the, the guide to the character.